All right, guys. Here's my uh, 1995 Ford 250, 7.5 liter. There's Christy and there's Hector. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get the exhaust on today. This is, I'm so excited. This is like my first uh, modification to this truck. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some more modifications, but for now, this is the first one. So I'm pretty excited, guys. Get started up, warmed up, and then we'll look around at the exhaust that I have now. It's just factory, but. Pretty quiet. It's not that cold this morning. I mean, I'm wearing a sweater here in Colorado, but it <coughs> gets a lot colder. All right, guys, let's see what we got here on the side. Because once I get it installed, I'm gonna do the same, same little test here. It's just standard. Nothing great, guys. My grandpa bought her brand new from the factory. I don't even think I have an exhaust or so, uh, uh, exhaust leak. But I, I'm kind of hurt, so I can't really. I don't know if I'm getting a good shot or not. But it's just standard, so nothing great. Uh, but once I get the other one installed, I'll do the same little thing, and I'll have my friend get under there and give these guys a better shot of what the guy did for me. Uh, he's getting welded up, so be nice and done, no clamps. Uh, so we'll get that done and let you guys know how it sounds. Thanks. All right, guys. Here's the video of my exhaust. It's a uh, catback exhaust with the Flowmaster muffler. One end coming two out the rear tires. And I like the custom work I love how he's got everything tucked up under there as you can see I hope everything's tucked up in there pretty good and then also with the custom job he had to uh, fabricate it around my spare tire which I like I like to still get to my spare tire very nice on both sides. Welded it right underneath the hanger there. Everything's welded up. No bolts, no clamps. Real sturdy. I'm tugging on that thing pretty hard. I'm putting some weight on it. Then I'll come and show you the right side. The same thing, guys. Right around the spare tire there. See if I can get a shot from over here. So I'll still be able to drop that tire rack if I need my spare. Again, on the real strong. I mean, the whole truck's pretty much moving for me, just trying to shake that thing loose. Right. red light still on, Bridge? Yes.
guys, I just want to point out my gas gauge. I mean, everybody's always saying about how these things are drinking gas. I haven't done no modifications. Yesterday, I made a video, which is also going to be uploaded, um, where you can see me doing, what did we do, about five burnouts? Mm -hmm. Then I drove, I did five burnouts, drove, you know, to the muffler shop, drove it back home. Um, he's only a few blocks away. Did we do any other? And so... We went to Bishop's so we did a lot of driving guys just from that little bit of a burnout it was above the e if you notice in the other videos but just wanted to point that out to these guys you know i'm pretty impressed with the gas mileage i'm getting out of this 460 and haven't done any uh moderate mods yet except for the exhaust today and a little bit cutting out the air horn on the inside the air intake hoses which is also posted I'm going to go ahead and just run it, uh, this video, just a few seconds, just so that way you can hear what it sounds like in the cab. This, what I had installed was a uh, cat-back exhaust system with the Flowmaster, two and a half inch pipe, everything welded, custom, and I think that's about it, really. I mean, he charged me, I think, about 110 for labor. The rest was parts, and I paid five. I paid about five something, five twenty, something like that. Five. Also, he knows I'm gonna be doing four wheel driving, so he did give me a two year replacement warranty on everything if I get anything hung up. But he tucked it in there pretty good, guys. I I think before I get those hung up, I'll mess something else up first, but. Just reassuring to know, you know. All right, guys, so here we go. Of course, now with the exhaust system, I'm probably gonna get too much better gas because I'm gonna, my foot's gonna get pretty heavy just from wanting to rev this thing up. <laughs> but this truck was inherited to me and I don't have it for economy cars. So.